What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We have some DC resurgence news. Let's keep going through what's going on with DC because, you know, they're always zigzagging around and regurgitating old stories and then getting updates and then getting updates shut down. We got stuff to talk about regarding Ben Affleck and James Gunn. John, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited to play DC News Mad Libs today. How are you? <laughs> I'm excited too. <laughs> it's a good game. We should call that new segment until, uh, you know, Commando Creatures or whatever it's called. Yep. Yep, out. that's it. <laughs> well, first things first, you know what to do. Please go ahead, leave a like. I point today. I'm a pointer. Leave a like. That means a lot. Also, I wanted to give another mention. Myself, this guy, and Koi Jandra, we are going to be having a panel Sunday, March 26th, 11 o'clock a.m. at WonderCon. It's Real Rejects exclusive. Would love to have you join. I'm going to talk about the current state of the MCU and DCU fandom side of it. You know how fun that could be. Anywho, let's get into this Ben Affleck story. Ben Affleck was doing an interview with uh, The Hollywood Report reporter to talk about his new movie air and then the hollywood reporter was like we don't give a shit about that tell us more about batman <laughs> thoughts and dc that's all we care about that's what will get the clicks are they selling it to netflix we don't even know what this air movie's about you probably don't even know ben affleck so there was a, a few things that were brought up like i said regurgitated you know uh, one one cool thing was that he talked about Zack snyder's justice league being his highest rated movie on imdb and he seems to look back fondly on specifically that version of Jaws. Justice League. He he again reiterates how awful the Justice League path ended up turning into. But then there was a question that was asked that has led many people, many, many, many people. I, this is the main thing I'm seeing online to be like, James Gunn, you are a pathological liar. Uh, Kick him yeah. off of Twitter. I have some thoughts about that. that I want to go over what Ben Affleck first said. And then I want to go over if I think James Gunn was indeed lying or not. <laughs> Regardless, it's not a good look. But I have some thoughts. So here's what was going on. Uh, he was asked, how did you approach Michael Jordan about that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't care about air. Let's talk about DC. So if DC came to you now and said, do you want to direct something? John, do your best Ben Affleck impression. Uh, I would not direct something for the... Not enough Boston in there. I would not direct something for James Gunn's flipping DCU. Absolutely not. I have nothing against James <laughs> Gunn. Go. Nice guy. Sure, he's going to do a great job. I just don't want to. I, I wouldn't want to go in and direct in the, New York now in a way that they're doing that. I'm not interested in that. Now, you see, the reason why people were going, wait a minute, wait a minute. But James Gunn, he said not long ago when he was asked, could Ben Affleck direct something? And James Gunn did say, met with Ben yesterday precisely because he wants to direct and we want him to direct we just have to find the right project for him to direct that created a lot of excitement because that seems to be one of the ways james gunn has been calming the flames around people when there's so much discourse over direction and then having to restart all over again yeah we're meeting with henry cavill he's gonna play wolverine in the dc universe <laughs> he's saying Jason all is everybody he's now. everybody now <laughs> we're saying all kinds of shit don't worry we're figuring it out we got it covered to me, like when I heard Ben Affleck possible direct, I thought that was cool. A lot of people thought he might direct Batman, the Brave and the Bold. But then Ben Affleck's coming in here and he is firmly stating, I would not direct something for the James Gunn DC. Absolutely not. Speaking in absolutes, yeah. this guy. I just wouldn't want to go in and direct in the way they're doing that. I'm not interested in that. I understand why people would say he's a liar. Why I think this is not a, a good look. I personally don't think James Gunn was lying because there's a gap in time here. <laughs> that yeah, a few months. <laughs> <laughs> I think what probably happened was he probably did talk to Ben Affleck. I don't think James Gunn would just put that out there and <laughs> be like, shit, we talked. We had a great conversation. I don't think he would just say that and not expect Ben Affleck to be like, what are you doing? Yeah, man? dude, you're just lying <laughs> blatantly to everybody. Yeah, I mean, you're on Twitter all the time. Like, if anything is a discrepancy or if anything's wrong, you are inviting people to come in and correct you very publicly and tarnish your credibility. I think what happened was I had a conversation, maybe... Ben Affleck did express interest in it, but in the time of understanding, like, oh, everything's going to be, like, really interconnected, they are fine-tuning and getting more clear on their definition of how they want the direction of the DC universe to go, then eventually Ben Affleck was like, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. The thing, though, is with, with his answer here, he does not acknowledge that he had a conversation with James Gunn, so it leads a lot of people to be going... 
James Gunn probably made all that shit up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, because that thing about he wants to direct, I think, is the big sort of uh, point of dissonance here because it seems like very much not. I mean, this is the hazard of James Gunn tweeting so much is that, you know, a lot of things can change and a lot of things are just to broach a preliminary idea. And we don't know how many times they spoke and met. You know, they could have mm-hmm. met two or three more times and then he got to this conclusion. The reason why I was saying, like, regardless, it's a bad look for James Gunn is because right now with again the discourse that's happening with dc it's leadership everything looks at leadership and how's that shit going because that's going to be a reflection of how everything moves forward you know when marvel's great kevin feige gets the praise when marvel's sucking kevin feige gets the blame (laughs) you know (laughs) dc has already had enough ups and downs there's already been questionable decisions and paths with james gunn so having this come out like what you've said about how like him being on Twitter too much. Dude, shit like this happens. That could, that could backfire. I feel like Ben Affleck's doing everything he can to move past <laughs> the DC universe. <laughs> yeah. It would just, again, resurrect the whole thing of him like getting a, a Batman movie or playing Batman again. You know, him talking, you know, fondly of you know, what at least everything he indicates here sounds like he speaks fondly of, of Zack Snyder, which I, I think he does. I mean, he returned for Zack Snyder's Justice League to, to shoot in his backyard. I think he's, he thinks highly of Zack in the and the experience specifically with him. However, like, again, he's promoting a completely different movie yeah. than all anyone, including ourselves, give a shit about. It's, it's bad, like, man. yeah, I want to hear about the DC thing you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure Air will be a good movie, but let's talk about your DC stuff. Sure, sure, sure. And the pivot, too, into James Gunn's universe, I think that is a good point. Like, it's a big interconnected thing. The Snyderverse was purportedly supposed to be much more director-driven, and so I think that would more uh, directly appeal to somebody like Ben Affleck. And, two, I mean, he has The Flash coming out, which seems like... Like it could be a chance for him to put a final stamp on the character, and we don't know what that's going to look like. You know, so well, he said those five minutes that he was in it were the, <laughs> the best, best five minutes. Finally learned how to do it. <laughs> Finally, learned how I realized limited amount of screen time is the way I want to do this. Four hours of uh, Snyder cut. I, I couldn't quite crack it, but, but I finally got it here. So enjoy, everybody. <laughs> Just crazy to hear because I think he's great in I those other too. films. Yeah. I think he's great. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Give yourself a little credit, Ben. Come on, Ben. Ben watches this. Channel. Get with it. Trying everything he can right now to move past it. Hello, I married darkness. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Let me be on top again. Let me just enjoy my life. Don't put this albatross back around my Stop neck. Stop taking photos of me smoking cigarettes and eating donuts. <laughs> and for the love of God, against Simon and Garfunkel music and I'm sepia s- tones. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Let Ben Live. All righty, guys. Well, what do you think about this? Do you feel like James Gunn was lying about any of it? Um, lying about all of it. Although I would love it if it did come out that he was like, yeah, I never had that. Car- conversation with Jenny. <laughs> oh, that that's bad. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then The Rock comes in. He never talked to me either. Yeah. James Gunn is a candy ass. <laughs> All right, guys, leave your thoughts below. Thanks for being here. And uh, let's end this with a... <laughs> Tyler Haig. Tyler, I feel like you could be the next Batman. You uh-huh. know, man, you'd be a perfect, more realistic Batman, in my opinion. Anytime we've talked with you, you're lounging with a bunch of monitors, just watching the world. And if you really were a billionaire with that level of technology for that amount of surveillance, yeah, I'd just sit around, too, and watch it. Yeah, I wouldn't want everybody's life. I don't want to go out in the streets and handle crap. <laughs> I'm a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> what do I need to do any of that for? Just voyeur on people and then gossip about them. So you would be the perfect Bruce Wayne. It, what we always do with these comic book movies is like, how much more real can we go? Well, the more realistic <laughs> Bruce Wayne, Tyler Haig, I think. It wouldn't even risk it. Would be you. Just relaxed, yeah. lounging, enjoying, watching other people's lives, and just being like, eh. Do I need to go out? I'll call the cops. <laughs> this is the law enforcement's responsibility. <laughs> I donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to the police. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I'm busy paying my taxes as well. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, Tyler, love you, buddy. I'll see you soon. <laughs>